Okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are gonna be trying out all of our products from our Ipsy Icon box. I already did do my unboxing. I also did my box reveal. If you guys wanna go check out those videos, those are already out. But for today's video, we're gonna be actually trying out all the products that were sent out on my Icon box for the month of May, 2023. So, that's why we are naked today. We got nothing on the faces. We got a lot of skincare to go through and we got some makeup products as well. I feel like this box was amazing. It was a 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely loved it. The brands are all pretty known, uh, well-known brands and they're great products, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this first item. This one is from Ren. It's the Glow and Protect Serum. I did use this serum yesterday, last night, and I really like the way that it made my skin feel. It felt like very nice and hydrated. It for sure gave me that little donut glow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start off with that. Um, it's in the middle of the day right now, but I do have to get ready for the day. So I just thought I should do my skincare with you guys or just everything that i got in my box so the first item it is a from a run it's a clean line absolutely love that i love the consistency of this serum it just absorbs onto the skin so so well and i really like that it does give you a little glow i don't know if you guys can see it from here but i definitely feel my skin absorbing the product it like literally sucked it all in okay guys so this was our first product and of course because i am going in with a serum i'm gonna follow it with my spf guys i'm gonna be using my super goop um spf this is the every single face and it's the watery lotion so yeah it literally absorbed the entire product onto the skin. I love the way it made my skin feel. It feels really nice and hydrated too. So I'm gonna also follow up with a SPF. Just a friendly reminder, make sure you guys are wearing your SPF daily. I always try to wear my SPF because as you guys can see, I have like some dark sunspots or aging spots, whatever you wanna call it. Um. So yeah that's what i am doing so make sure you guys always wear your spf just a friendly reminder okay now let's go ahead and move on to our second product so after the serum i'm gonna go with one of my favorite moisturizers from ole hendrickson this is the strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer this one has a very thick consistency um, so if you are one of those dry girls out there, um, I highly recommend this one. My skin is a combination, but I still use it even though I'm kind of oily in my T-zone. It just helps balance out those oils. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to rub it in the palms of my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the moisturizer. Oh my God, it's so nice and thick. Like I love it. I love the thickness of this moisturizer. So, of course, we are prepping our skin to go in with the next product. And I'm also going to be doing a full face. So, I'm kind of prepping my canvas. The canvas before I go in with my makeup application. I also do have another moisturizer. This one is from Kate Somerville and this one's the Dry Skin Saver. So this one, guys, you can actually use it for your face, your body, your hands, your lips. You could use it in multiple ways. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my hands because I already did apply the other, um, the other moisturizer onto the face. So yeah, this one, I actually used it last night when I got out of the shower and I applied it to my legs and my knees. My knees just tend to be very dry and rough, like the skin's very rough. So yeah, they my my legs woke up really nice and hydrated and moisturized and it, it's a really good one. I love the thick consistency of this one as well. So yeah, we got two moisturizers, but I'm definitely using this one more for the body. All right. Oh, it just feels so good. 
All right, so now that the hands are also nice and hydrated, look how beautiful the hands look. They have a little sheen of glow to them as well. All right, I think the skin absorbed all of the product. We are gonna go in next with the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye. I love this one. I also tried it last night before I went to bed. And look at how cute the packaging is. It's so cute. So it has a little pump. The product looks like this. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just kind of apply some of the product onto my under eye because I do have darkness and puffiness on the under eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of prep my under eye a little before I go in with the application. And I'm just using my ring finger and tapping it in like that. So up next guys, I am gonna go ahead and go in with my next product. This one is gonna be the Alterna Caviar Anti-Frizz. Um, air dry balm. I also used this one yesterday as soon as I got it and I really like the way that it smells. Oh my god, I think I went in with a little too much, but we're, we'll still use it. Okay guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this to my little ponytail that I have going on because I did slick my hair back and add this to the tips of my hair. Like this. Okay guys, so I am just licking back the hair and there's no frizzies. It literally tamed down the frizz. So I am really loving this caviar um, hair balm. It's a really good one. I actually like it. And it leaves the hair like with a little bit of shine, but it, the hair is not stiff. It's still very flexible. Anyways, up next, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next item. This one is the concealer. I got mine in shade number four. And look how beautiful the skin is looking with it. Using all of the skincare products that they sent out, it gave me like this really beautiful natural sheen. I could go with like a makeup, no makeup type of day today, but... I'm going to finish doing the rest of my makeup and I'm using the concealer that they sent out in shade number four. I'm actually going to use my fingers to blend out this product because I feel like using your fingers really melts the product. Okay guys, I feel like the concealer is pretty much fully blended. And yeah, I highly recommend using your hands. I feel like those are the best tools you'll ever have. It'll just be blending out the products it just kind of really melts it onto the skin because your fingers are warm so what do we think so here is the concealer fully blended and everything else is just a meshing together so well okay guys so i did the rest of my makeup we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next product the face is feeling a little bit dry what do we think about the concealer guys all right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next item. It's coming from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow um, Ultra Fine Mist. I'm going to go ahead and spray the face to refreshen it up. We're going to go ahead and create a eyeshadow look. So up next, we're going to be using the Alamar Cosmetics brushes i'm gonna first off start off with this one here and this one is the fluffy brush i did use it yesterday and it got kind of dirty but i'm gonna go ahead and apply some color onto it i'm using my becky g palette for today and i'm gonna go ahead and start tapping in the shade the bristles are so nice and soft okay there's that one. We're going to go ahead and go in with this next brush, which is kind of like a little flat brush. I'm going to go ahead and go in with another shade. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with this pearly white shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto the eyelid like that and tap in the shade. Let me kind of cut out the little crease a little. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to use the little flat brush, the little detail brush. What shade should we use? Okay, I think I'm going to go in with this really pretty coral color. I want some color. I have to add some color to my look. 
Oh, this is pretty. You can definitely tight line underneath. Okay, guys, so here were all three brushes. We came out with those look. I had to go back in and add additional color onto the crease because it was a little too light. <laughs> Needed to add that extra pop of a color and the little detail brush was so, so good. You can really go in there and do additional detail. Love the brushes. So our next item, our last item is actually gonna be the brow definer. We're gonna put this little puppy to you. So let's see, we're gonna just create like a brow looking strokes, brow like strokes to fill in the brows. Guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm on this new brow journey. Please wish me luck. Oh, this definitely looks a lot more fuller than this one. I am liking that very much. Okay guys, so the eyebrows are pretty much done. I went ahead and I did like little brow strokes and I'm also just gonna go ahead and brush my natural hairs upwards to give it like that natural little fluff. Okay guys, so here is the final look using all of my products from my ipsy box icon box <laughs> i should say and let's go ahead and recap it guys i love how the look came out i love how the skin it feels super moisturized and hydrated and i feel like even though i did set my face i do have a little bit of a glow I don't know if you guys could see it or not, but I could definitely see it like through here, my forehead, and I love it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and recap our Ipsy Icon Box. So we got, of course, our three little makeup brushes that I used to create this eye look. And I only literally used two eyeshadows. And I love how the look came out. Of course, I added my dramatic eyelashes. I just had to. I just had to. I don't feel complete without my eyelashes. Of course, we used our Glow Recipe Watermelon Spray Mist. I love it. I love this product. It's super, super fine. And I love the way the skin looks as well. We also went ahead and we used our Caviar Frizz Balm. No frizz up here, guys. I love how nice and slick my hair looks without being so hard. It feels really, really good. Super cute. We also did use our brow definer. Look at the fluffy brows. What do you guys think? <laughs> we also did use our concealer. It ended up working for me. I feel like I can definitely pull off this shade. I feel like it's a pinch light, but I can still use it. And I love the formula and the Delpha applicator that it had on it. We also had our Olay Hendrickson moisturizer. It is so good. The skin feels so good as well as our Ren Beauty Serum. It's giving you that beautiful glow. And we also did use our Glow Recipe Vitamin C Deep Puffer. Um, it helps remove any of those dark circles. So I definitely used it. I'm gonna continue to use it because I mean, I got the puffiness, I got the dark circles, and hopefully it goes away. We also did use our Kate Somerville Dry Lotion or Dry Skin Saver, and I actually used it for my body, and the skin feels super hydrated and very nice and moisturized. And that's gonna be it, guys. I hope that you guys like this video. I loved my box this month. If we could have icon boxes every single month, I would be so down for it. I would definitely pay the money for it. But anyways, I'm excited to see what they have for next quarter. I'm excited to know who's gonna be the icon, but I loved all of my products and I'm excited about all the changes that Ipsy has done this far. And yeah, guys, that's gonna be it. That's all I got on my icon box and I love all of these products, guys. That's gonna be it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to leave your girl a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.